guys, welcome to Tutes Online. Today I'm going to take you through Cervical Vertebra 1, otherwise known as the Atlas. Cervical Vertebra 1, or the Atlas, differs from typical cervical vertebra as it does not have a body. Because it lacks a body, Cervical Vertebra 1 has an anterior tubercle. It also lacks a spinous process and instead has a posterior tubercle. It has superior articular facets which articulate with the occipital condyles of the skull. It also has inferior articular facets, which articulate with cervical vertebra 2, or the axis. There is a third facet for the articulation with the dens, and this is found on the interior surface of the anterior arch of cervical vertebra 1. So here we're looking at the superior aspect of the atlas or cervical vertebra 1. Here at the anterior we have the anterior tubercle. Here at the posterior, we have the posterior tubercle. Here are the superior facets, the inferior facets are facing downwards so we can't see them from this aspect. Just on the inside here of the anterior arch, we have that facet for the dens. This is a projection on cervical vertebra 2, or the axis. We can see that there's no body for cervical vertebra 1. When I show you an illustration of a typical cervical vertebra, so not CV1 or CV2, we see that there is a small body in this position here, anteriorly. There's also no spinous process posteriorly. Again, when I show you an illustration of a typical cervical vertebra, we'll see that there is a spinous process here. Although cervical vertebra 1 has these features absent, it does have some other typical features. of cervical vertebra and these include this posterior arch here and these transverse foramen here. These processes sticking out here and here are referred to as transverse processes. Finally, this large hole here, this is where the spinal cord sits. And this is referred to as the vertebral foramen.
And that about wraps it up for Cervical Vertebra 1. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. Make sure you visit our website or subscribe if you want to learn more about cervical anatomy. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.